This is Local 22 News at 11. Good evening. We appreciate you joining us on a Friday night. I'm Lauren Maloney. Cybersecurity experts nationwide will likely be paying close attention in the near future to a federal criminal case originating in Addison County. 46-year-old Scott Remick of Bristol is charged with possession of child porn. Local 22's Mike Coey joins us live in the newsroom tonight with the details. Mike? Well, Lauren, this first appeared on the news website The Daily Beast Thursday morning, and the reporter who worked with a Washington, D.C. researcher of federal court records to break the story spoke with me today. On Friday, a judge denied a request from the Vermont U.S. Attorney's Office for Scott Remick to be detained. He's free on conditions until his next court appearance, which is scheduled for July 26th. Reporter Shannon Vavra broke this story for the Daily Beast. It's a really interesting case for the cybersecurity community to keep track of just because there's so many twists and turns in the story and it really does tug at your heartstrings. It's a very disturbing case. Prosecutors say a hacker was being paid last month to find computers that were vulnerable to a specific security flaw. As part of that work, the hacker reportedly stumbled upon encrypted child porn files on a computer in Remick's home. We don't know who the security researcher is. They're not identified by name or gender even. Um, the, their employer is not mentioned as well. And there are specifics of how far into the computer and the hard drive of uh, the defendant, Scott Remick, that the security researcher went isn't particularly clear. It's also not clear just where the hacker lived, but wherever they are, they risked going to prison by coming forward because it would be an admission that they were hacking. After they came forward anyway, U.S. attorneys offered immunity from prosecution. What was really interesting here exactly was the, the extent to which the U.S. government is willing to provide immunity to hackers who have transgressed the law um, for turning in someone who appears to be possibly a child abuser, someone who possibly is... Uh, in possession of porn, child porn. And the use of federal immunity might set a legal precedent here. And I'll be curious to watch that myself in the coming days, weeks, and years to see if this is used in, in other court cases for other hackers. Scott Remick is a senior technology specialist at Middlebury College. According to an automated reply from his work email, he's away from his job on leave. Now, Lauren, I asked Middlebury officials this afternoon if they had any comment and if Remick is on leave with pay or without. Less than an hour ago, the school's associate VP for public affairs replied in part, quote, I cannot provide information about an employee or personnel matter. I can tell you Middlebury complies with and cooperates in all matters involving lawful requests from authorities. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. An update 